Alright folks, we're here at the farmer's market in Port Island. There's this idea of a soccer camp is somewhere where you go, play a lot of soccer, have a lot of fun, make a lot of friends, and in theory, get better at playing soccer. I've tried to take this idea from soccer camp, and can I, can you make it, can you make it something that you bring with you? Right, so we had some, we had some local fruit, we had some, we had some smoked mackerel, we had some empanadas, we had a pretzel, a pretzel with some mustard. So we're gonna eat, and then we're gonna train. Right, a lot of training plans, routines, it says, on Wednesdays you do this, this, and this, and then Thursdays it's this, this, and this. It's it's so rigid, right? It, it's it's it, it requires you to be at certain places just to develop your game. But what I'm trying to demonstrate here is that with a couple of tools, specifically an RMT rope, a kick trainer, a ball of any size, and a, a, optionally a pair of ball, right? With a few tools that you can bring everywhere you go can have a world-class training routine and just and just feel more relaxed more confident certain on the ball and this is going to help you uh, grow your game which can help you grow your life so okay let's go what am i thinking about i'm thinking about sun protection i'm thinking about staying relaxed feeling where tension is in your body Nice and easy. Smell the smell the flower. Blow out the candle. So this is an RMT rope. It's a just a piece of rope. As long as you are tall, I got the ends duct tape. And the founder, David Weck, says that you can only learn one rope float pattern. That you want to learn the alternating underhand sneak. So why is this important? Well, let's talk about problems. A lot of problems players have is that they don't know how to. They don't know how to. If you, if you feel heavy on your feet, if you don't feel explosive, if you feel like you're the least fit person on your team, if you feel like, if you're poor juggling, or if you're just poor movement, if you feel uncoordinated, if you just wanna become more dangerous on the field, then this is what you wanna learn, right? So this is how we start. You go underhand swing, then you reach your hand up behind your back, and you grab your elbow, and then from here, Grab the wrist, and then from here, grab both handles, so you're here, and then you go here. Then from here, it's over, over. So the key is to drill, the key is to drill this over and over and over, right? Because once you drill this over and over and over, then this turns into here, here. So I had to drill this three days straight until I was able to go from here to here. And then I had to learn, the way I learned this was to go from here to here. Right, so some, pe some people can't even reach their arms all the way down to their wrist. So the way you want to start is you go here. Right, so this underhand swing, it's the opposite direction of a jump rope, right? Most jump rope, if you jump rope normally, you go from behind to forward and you jump through, right? This way, you go the opposite way of a jump rope, put your hands behind your back, go here, and then here, right? Nice and easy. And you're moving your breathing. And you don't even need, you don't need an RMT rope. You could use a towel. You could use a men's tie. I've used, I've used uh, a charging cord for your iPhone, Android, whatever. You can be creative with the tool you use. It's less about the tool and more about the movement. Right? So the reason why it's going to translate into you becoming more dangerous on the field as a soccer player is 
better because it's there's so many things happening at the same time that it's well it's 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 two different things but it's 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 not only is it it's not only is it hyper portable lightweight and cheap which means you bring it everywhere you go in the world which allows you to train perpetually so that's that's one that's one way the second way is that it's highly transferable right as your hands as your hands move and swing the rope around not only is it working both sides of your brain it's taking pressure off your spinal column as you're bending and twisting your spine and breathing it's going to help improve dynamic balance it's going to help right dynamic balance means balance in different ranges of motion it's going to um, it forces you to whip your arms down and pop that knee up right so it's really working that fast twitch right whip the arms down whip that knee up and it's it's low impact right so people got ankle injuries hip flexor knees it's hard for them to to rehab themselves play which paralyzes them because right, whenever they move around, they're in pain, so sometimes they don't want to move, but without moving, they're, or when they go to play, they're also in pain. So they're, they're screwed if they are, and they're screwed if they do, and screwed if they don't. With this tool, you can, you can use it as a diagnostic to feel where pain is, right? So let's say I have a pain, let's say I have pain in my right knee. I can take pressure off the right knee, so I have now 1% pressure on my big toe, 99 on my left, left leg. And then as you start to put more pressure on the right leg, so now I got two, now it's three, four, five, six, seven, eight, right? So now it's, so this is, it works as a rehab tool. And it's also about what you're not doing. If you're using this rope, that means you're not doing heavy bob bodybuilder style squatting, uh, deadlifts, you know, just, you're not driving to the gym to do all this stuff. It's like when kids start hitting, when boys especially, when boys start to see uh, I've noticed a lot of soccer players will do gym bro style workouts and call it and call it soccer training. So they'll lift heavy bench, heavy shoulder presses, heavy back rows, squats and deadlifts and look like a meathead and don't lose their ability to move effortlessly and dynamically on the field. So this is why this tool is so powerful. So, so one more time, the question is, can I, can I learn how to use an RMT rope? Right? The only thing you did was just buy a piece of rope and start swinging it around. that don't help you get better, they'll actually make you worse, and then you're sore for three days, and you can't practice if you can't play. Right? You can't play effectively because you're so, your body's so jacked up from the workout that it actually hinders your ability to grow grow yourself and your game in the future. With this thing, it's like, you know, breathing, moving, feeling how your body is, improving your, your balance, timing, rhythm, coordination in an effortless way. So now it's here, and then this flows right into right into now we have this ball now we have this parable which is just a, a weight it's a weight on a rope and so this is going to traction feel it pulling it's pulling against your shoulder right so it's, it's slightly it's decompressing your shoulder joint so it's strengthening and restoring the body at the same time there's not a lot of exercises that do that especially ones that are there's not a lot of exercises that are portable and that can do that effectively and then it's going to make you bend and twist your spine right so you're here
and then boom, right into our striking technique. Right, working that first touch, timing, rhythm, coordination, and also scanning perpetually. We're looking at we're looking at everyone looking. So we're seeing time and space of ourselves and the people around us. Right, whether you're in the car on a bicycle, walking through the grocery aisle, you always want to be scanning. Right, you got to start to see where people's eyes are, where they're looking. Right, especially if you're. You want to, um, you know, we're hunters by nature. We spend, mil- I don't know how long has humans been around, thousands and thousands of years. Right, so we've developed the ability to aim at stuff. So you gotta just gotta start to hone that. You start to look at where people are looking. Like you could tell in an instant if someone's looking at you, right? You could almost feel their eyes on them. So you want to start to do an eye check. Of every everyone and everything you see, and then if you can do that while working on that on that striking, on your balance and striking technique. your game but let's say for whatever reason the weather outside is just if you're somewhere where it's not possible or you don't have a wall around you or you don't have a training partner this kick trainer I mean it's just a ball on a rope 10 bucks for a size one ball on Amazon a few bucks for a piece of string and some duct tape or you could you know you could duct tape a, a tennis ball to the end of a jump rope a tennis ball to the end of a jump rope Varying the touches where it's where it's striking the ball, nice and easy, right? Develop that awareness, but staying relaxed, right? No tension in the face, right? the upper back, shoulders breathing. Juggling different sized balls will help improve precision and power using the ground to your advantage. I like doing twos. Twos are two right, two left eye. Two right thigh and two left eye. Or two right foot, two left foot. And my idea with this is it mimics 
it mimics the dub, the alternating underhand sneak, which mimics perfect running technique. Right, because when you run, it's two counts, it's two beats. It's, it's one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. So on alternating underhand sneak is, is one, two, 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 one, two. So then you could do that right into the kick trainer. One, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, which flows right into the, which flows right into the juggling. One, two, one, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one. Two, one, two, one, two, one, two, two, breathing, relaxed. Smell the flowers, go out the candles, be aware of your hand positioning. If you drop it, you can switch. I like to alternate, if I drop it, I'll switch to the back to the feet. in mind some people don't have tools that's okay even if you just have a ball of any size even if it's a balloon even if it's a hacky sack even if it's a ball made out of tape whatever you got that's okay you just play around with your tools you know you make circuits circles right you do one 60 seconds even if you're tired even if you're feeling low energy if you're feeling sick, if you get moving a little bit, you start to feel better. That's that movement, right? Energy makes energy. Ball in motion stays in motion. Right? Rolling Stone collects no moss. So, so you don't need a whole bunch of tools. You just need to get yourself going. Whatever you have, even if it's a basketball, volleyball, American style, football, just having fun, getting some touches. So it was juggling right into, right into. Phantom system, Mickey dribbling sequence, which is step, step, kick, step, step, kick, step, step, kick, step, 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 step. flowers, candles, then you pivot, so it's here, here, pivot, 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 everything's relaxed, breathing, Then I've been playing around with, I've been playing around with step, 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 step. So you could kind of pivot on the ball, even. Right, so you're you're pausing as you're. Right, it's here. And then, you know, so it adds. There's no there's no right way to do it, but once you start with that foundation, then that's where you can explore. Right, so you take this rigid pattern of. Step, step behind the back, step, step behind the back, and then you can play with stutter steps, right? It's, you know, then you, 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 you fake, you fake step, and then, right? So it's the adaptability and versatility after you learn, the, you know, after you learn the rigid pattern, that's when you can break away and explore, you know? It's like when you have a routine, you have your work week routine schedule, and then you could go on that that earns the vacation. You know, you go take a vacation somewhere and you then you mix it all up. Or you you know you bring it back. So going back and forth between a, a formalized routine, a warm-up routine, to 
go training with someone else, then they show you something things completely different. And then you think about that and then you bring it back. Right? So then now our heart rate's coming back down. And then we could go right into the back end of the rope. Floyd Mayweather likes to go underneath the leg, goes here, here. I felt, I've released tension in my back when I go here, here. If you've got shoulder pain, you can go here. You can go here, here. If you've got, if you've got a cast on your right foot, if you've got a, if you've got a bum knee, if you've got a bad hip flexor, then it's all pressure here, no pressure here. Let's say you've got a broken, let's say the whole right side of your body is paralyzed. Then all you can do is, fingers, right? Holding the left hand, no pressure on the right side, you're here. Let's say you're in a wheelchair, even if you're in a wheelchair, and now the bottom half of your body don't work, you could be here. Right, working that whole arm complex, fingers, hand, wrist, elbow, shoulder, shoot down the neck. Oof. Nice and easy breathing. And maybe if you're seated and elevated, you can start to, you know, underhand swing, overhand swing, just mixing around, feeling, moving, breathing. Flowers. juggling to dribbling but you got to see what works for you right this is this is not this is a way this is not the way right so just have fun messing around it's like you dribble a little bit then you juggle a little bit and you swing the rope and you're skipping and then maybe you do some some you know maybe you do some some hip openers and then you're getting into some you know portal and you're just loosening up your lower back right just exploring and seeing what feels nice. If you got no tools, Dim this Dimitri Klokov body weight routine is nice. 2014 warm up.
Ziani, seven postures. So just exploring different exploring different movement patterns, exploring different movement skills, ballet, yoga, tai chi, taekwondo, muay thai, right? It kinda all blends together. Then you just steal, steal your favorite warm-ups, movements, exercises from wherever you can find them. Whether it's within your town, you take class with, you know, there's probably a high level coach of some movement ability in your town, city, or region that you haven't trained with, that if you train with, it would completely change your life and your game. Or you just learn through watching, right? Search Barcelona, you know, you put your favorite put your favorite club team or your favorite player and then start to watch the behind the scenes training, what they're doing. Because chances are they've they made more mistakes than you. So they say a man learns from his own mistakes and a smarter man learns from someone else's mistakes. You gotta, if you're, if you, they, and they say success leaves clues. So if you start, you know, if you start doing some research to seeing what high level players are doing, not so that you can recreate it, but just so you can start to begin to put yourself in the direction that you want to be in. So hopefully this helps. Reach out with any questions. 503-505-1180.